the Legionella Awareness Training Course. During the next five lessons, we will present the risks of Legionella and what are the legal responsibilities regarding Legionella. We will also discuss what roles we can play to minimise these risks. In this lesson, we will introduce you to all the basics about Legionella. So, what exactly is Legionella? Legionella is a type of pathogenic bacteria which leads to a range of pneumonia-like illnesses, such as Pontiac fever, Lock Goylehead fever, Legionnaire's disease. These illnesses are known collectively as Legionellosis. Legionellosis developed as a result of environmental modification by humans because Legionella species are generally found in aquatic environments and they thrive in warm water and damp environments. The most serious condition arising from Legionella bacteria is Legionnaire's disease, which affects between 200 to 300 people in the UK each year. So, where does Legionella come from? Legionella bacteria are often found in natural water sources like rivers, lakes, reservoirs. In most cases, these natural sources rarely cause illness. However, as soon as these waters enter more favourable conditions, then the bacteria begin to grow and the risk of illness increases. Are the natural water sources alone responsible for Legionella bacteria? The purpose-built water systems provide more favourable conditions. These more favourable conditions are commonly found in places like cooling towers, evaporative condensers and whirlpool spas where the water is maintained at a constant temperature and the bacteria can thrive. Now you might be pondering how people get Legionnaire's disease. People contract Legionnaire's disease by inhaling small droplets of water suspended in the air which contain the Legionella bacteria. These droplets are known as aerosols. There are certain conditions which increase the chances of Legionella bacteria being present. These include higher chances of Legionella bacteria being present if the water temperature is between 20 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. The aerosols are dispersed into the air. Water is stored and recirculated. There is a source of nutrients for the bacteria in the water such as rust, sludge or other organic matter. Legionnaire's disease causes a serious case of pneumonia. This can affect anyone. However, certain people are at greater risk than others. So, now the question is, who is most at risk? People over 45 years of age, smokers and heavy drinkers, people suffering from chronic respiratory kidney, lung or heart disease, people with diabetes, anyone with an impaired immune system. Legionnaire's disease often has similar symptoms to flu. The initial phase is often indicated by the presence of headaches or muscular pain, which are then followed by symptoms of Legionnaire's disease, high temperatures, severe muscle pain, chills, tiredness, confusion. There could also be a persistent cough, shortness of breath or chest pains if the infection moves to the lungs. Other symptoms include diarrhoea, feeling or being sick, loss of appetite. Legionnaire's disease doesn't spread from person to person as it isn't contagious. If a colleague, client, customer or anyone else develops symptoms that are thought to be caused by Legionnaire's disease, then it's essential a GP is contacted as soon as possible. Senior managers and the health and safety representative, as well as the occupational health department, need to be contacted if the infection seems to happen as a consequence of the work activity. A blood or urine test is usually conducted to see whether the illness is Legionnaire's disease or not. Those with Legionnaire's disease are usually admitted to the hospital. 
Legionnaire's disease is usually treated successfully with intravenous antibiotics. Around 90% of people make a full recovery. The most common antibiotic used to treat Legionnaire's disease is erythromycin. The treatment often lasts between one to three weeks. If the patient is having trouble breathing due to the pneumonia-like symptoms of Legionnaire's disease, oxygen may be given to aid the lungs. And here we come at the end of the very first lesson of the Legionella Awareness Training Course. In the next lesson, we will discuss the legal responsibilities of a business to safeguard its employees from Legionella. See you soon!